my theory is that a good picture book is like theater. It's the book is like the proscenium, the illustrations is like are like the sets, the words are the script, and the reader is the actor. And whether you're reading or listening, Seuss is an active experience. So Ac active. And, ac and, you, you know, and you everybody acts it out. Exactly. I mean, mothers act it out, fathers, children. Exactly. And look at these children on the floor. Each has his or her favorite, favorite book. Favorite, clutch. Yes. So, so it's, yeah, so it was kind of hard for me to figure out what my favorite ones, because on any, any given day, I've got, different, I've got different favorites. But today, my favorites start with Horton Hatches the Egg. How, that is such a fun one. It's fabulous. So fun. Horton Hatches the Egg. Well, and I'm going to pick it up. The reason I love it is because it has one of the steamiest, juiciest villains in all of Dr. <laughs> Seuss. That lazy bird, Maisie. Oh, Maisie. Who dupes Horton, the innocent Horton, into sitting on her egg and uh, goes off to Palm Beach oh. to enjoy herself. Yeah, there oh. she is. And, and, and leaves Horton holding the egg. Dr. Seuss wrote 44 books. He wrote 44 books. Actually, he wrote 45. Oh, but he more did? about that later. Oh, okay. More now, about that later. This one is very famous. He's back. Cat, the cat in the hat. hat. Comes back. And every, oh, I mean, that hat is, that hat is known everywhere, isn't it? And the thing about the cat is that he's not a, you know, he is, he's an anarchist. He is not a well-behaved cat. <laughs> I bet they don't know what you're talking about. He makes trouble. <laughs> he makes trouble. And when he shows up in this book, the kids remember him from The Cat in the Hat, the other book. And they say, oh, go away, cat. And he says, don't mind me. They're out shoveling snow. Their mother says, you shovel the snow, I'll go on an errand. <laughs> And basically, they come into the house, and he's sitting in the bathtub eating cake, and he leaves a ring in the bathtub, and they spend the entire book chasing that ring around the house, trying to clean it up before Mother comes home. Now, what about happy birthday to you? It's per appropriate for today. It is appropriate for yes. today. And we celebrate Ted's birthday by celebrating Read Across America. We celebrate reading. So today, all across America, people are picking up books of all kinds and reading them and glorying them. <laughs> Oh, so fabulous. And then, oh my gosh, the Sneetches. I like the Sneetches because it's got three bonus cuts. Three bonus cuts in the back, two of which are my favorite. The first is Too Many Daves. Does anyone know Too Many Daves? Have you ever heard of Mrs. McCabe had 23 sons and she oh. named them all Dave? Yes. Well, she did, and that wasn't a good thing to do, because when she go wants one and calls out, Yoo-hoo! Come into the house, Dave. She doesn't get one. All 23 Daves of hers come on the run. <laughs> anyway, it's just pure... It's pure fun. It's, it's absolutely pure oh. fun, and kids slap themselves silly. I see you're slapping yourself silly. Yep. They slap themselves silly. And then the other cut that I love is the pale green pants, or what was I scared of, which, to my mind, is the closest thing to a ghost story in all of Sue's. Oh, this one. Um, and then, of course, the sleep book. The sleep book. Now, this I've often meant wondered. meant to put everybody to sleep. Exactly. Right. He calls it <laughs> Dr. Seuss's The Sleep Book. This for book a reason. is to be read in bed. Exactly. That is the prescription. And that really is the key word. This book is guaranteed to put you to sleep. And it starts with a little bug from the county of Keck who yawns so wide you can see down his neck. And it follows a chain of yawns. Everywhere creatures have set off, set off, uh, shut off their voices. They've all gone to bed in the beds They've of their, their choices. choices. They're sleeping in bushes. They're sleeping in crannies. Some on their stomachs and some on their, their fannies. Bennies. They're peacefully sleeping in comfortable holes. Some even on soft tufted barbershop poles. Barbershop <laughs> poles. You have now to be what there. an imagination this guy had. And the hats are like barbershop poles. Yes, they are. They are. They're barber. Yes, they he are. loved barbershop poles. Yes, they are. And so I, I like I, the last sentence, though. This last sentence is so you. nice. When you put out your light, then the number will be 99 zillion, 9 trillion, and 3. Snap the book shut. Good night. Cue light. Yes. <laughs>